Okay, three, two, one. Uh, <clears throat> Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... First Mate Drakir, at your service. And we're doing a dry start now because, yeah, at the last minute, my headset decided to not, just not work anymore. So, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're catching up a bit. Uh, just need to start up the chat program as well on the side because we are going to be having stuff windowed so I can actually see what is going on with all of that. Okay. Oh, dear. And, yeah, welcome to Showcase Sunday, number 64 to be uh, accurate. And it's been a bit since we've done one of these. Yeah. It was good to have a break for them as well. True. And, um, yeah, since it has been a bit, uh, Showcase Sunday is where we try four games, uh, perhaps a fifth, depending on if one of if them is crap or not, uh, for about half an hour each. To see if they're any good for streaming later or not. And, well, the first game that we're starting with is Aliens vs. Predator. The, uh, I believe this game came out in 2010. Technically, you could consider this as uh, Aliens vs. Predator 3, but... Um, I've tried this game, but I didn't complete it. So, I don't actually remember if it was any good or not. That, that's what we're here to find out. So, let's go to single yeah. player. I think Eric got people not liking it. At least when it launched. So I think people are softening up over, for it over the years. Mm, maybe. And yeah, like all of the uh, like the foregoing Aliens vs. Predator games, I tried to get those running, but they just didn't want to. Uh, we can. You know, there are three campaigns. The Marines, the Predator and the Xenomorphs. Let's start with the first. And give that a try on normal. And we are starting the timer now. Sir, Sir we're, ready we're ready to begin. To begin. How, How old, old do you think it is? is? 10,000? 100,000? <clears throat> Mr. Mr. Wayland? Yes. yes. Begin, begin the breaching procedure. procedure. Yeah, Wayland of Wayland Dutani, of course, so you know things are going to go to shit because... just simply because they're involved. <laughs> it's a bit of an overcomplicated door knocker. <laughs> And that's why it's never a good idea to stand in front of the big, giant, ominous door that's opening. <laughs> and yeah, of course, Wade and Jujani just cannot keep their hands off stuff that they should keep their hands off. Still nothing on the surface? All the sake of money. That's a big one. <laughs> I don't think there's much left of Marlowe. The Marlowe's gone. Last way we found. Sap in and hold tight. That means you two are looking. For something that's supposed to. 
for something that's supposed to crash land or survive crash lands, there's a lot of loose. I was going to say there's a lot of loose stuff, and okay, you still with us. Come on, private. Let's get you on your feet. And then we got knocked in the face with a footlocker. We can already tell this is going to go to hell. They're, they're spread out. <laughs> Got some movement right on top of us. Now you now you give us time to recover after dragging us into this hellhole. Wait. Yeah, that's a rough start. Let's see. H to heal, okay. And we can carry up to three at a time, it seems. And you, you could have left us in a damn drop thing. <laughs> See, I, I guess some people. Mm -hmm. Okay, F for flares. I, I've see, I see a lot of games that use T for flashlights, probably because it sort of looks like one. Okay. I haven't thought of that. Yeah, yeah ever at the edge I of the like, motion tracker. I would think more T like torch. Yeah, the, they, we don't even have any ammo for our gun. Or... Oh, now we can. Okay. It was just disabled for the moment. Uh, okay, just follow the arrows. Oh, it... My guess is so you don't accidentally waste all your ammo before the tutorial ends. I gotta go all online. Keep moving. I'll be in touch. Maybe. Uh, there's actually something here. Can we... Can we crouch? No. Yeah, th this thing has infinite ammo. Okay. And no, we can't go through that little crawl space to whatever is on the other side. I've got to say, the, the graphics for this are still quite good for the time. Or for nowadays, even. I think I heard people have a mixed opinion on it. Like, it has good moments, but it also has some... Well, it was released rough edges. Yeah, which sadly yeah, has only become more more prevalent these days. Oh. Yeah, Always like, nice I, I, don't, actually do that. I don't think you see many of the rough edges at the start, but you see more, more of them later on. I, I heard that at the very least the alien campaign is supposed to be Oh, we're dealing with chest bursters already. I've heard that at least the alien campaign is supposed to be good in this game. I'm sure. I mean, for me, it seems like people are debating if it's either the alien or the predator one that's the best. A nice detail. The flashlight is actually on the shoulder, so if we get too close to a wall, it actually gets off center. A nice detail. 
Okay, so that... It told us about the alt fire early, but I didn't... <laughs> Power lifter. Those things just appear everywhere in this you know, franchise nowadays, huh? So, are the... Yeah, do it. Hmm. I'm just checking if the... We have some subtitles, but not for everything, it seems. Yeah, we... Uh, okay, these... Yeah, I think... Aren't. I think that was one of the criticisms people had. That the subtitles seemed uh, rather sloppy. Yeah. Move me inside there. But yeah, I've, I'm not sure if I've actually ever seen any of the alien movies in full. Maybe the first one. What? Um, I've seen fragments of the others, but I. It's basically it, it. Those movies are basically to the point where they are so well known that even if you haven't fully watched them, you basically know most of everything. That happens in them. Yeah, I, I recommend you to at least watch one and two of Alien. I've heard that the third one is or, less liked. Yeah, do I actually have that one on DVD? It's not that bad, but I can see people be not liking it due to it did not live up to the hype. Yeah, that's always a risk and, with hyping stuff. Yeah. And we short circuited. Oh dear. But I was say for why we had Right, I was gonna say for why this video we had a, a channel a bit of an alien weekend when they showed off the all the alien movies. However, it was one, two, and four. They intentionally jumped the third movie. Yeah, I, I th and that confused the heck out of me for a while. Yep. <laughs> Did, did something grab its tail? Something? Ew, it, it. Ooh, dear. It looked back like some like something tugged its tail or something. Maybe. Uh, I miss I miss that part. Yeah, it to so, me it looked like it looked backwards or something. Is this one still? Maybe. This... Okay, there we go. Uh, no, we we heard it run off, so of course we didn't. Oh. There we go. And of course, don't get too close while it's still bleeding. Oh dear. But yeah, apparently people disliked the third movie so, so much that they skipped the, the third movie. So when I was younger, I thought the fourth movie was the third one. <laughs> uh, but I do have it. I do have them all on DVD, I think. And I don't. They're good. Just the first two ones are the best. Audio diary. Real shame the rookie got left behind. Sure, he's wet behind the ears, but he's got heart. Maybe that'll be enough to see him through. Tequila out. Well, I, I'm pretty sure having a big heart just makes you a bigger target for the xenomorphs for them to snack on it. Um, Ilian, you the rookie. Yeah. <laughs> So you are you 
at the moment unsure if you should feel complimented or not. All the more reason to keep on our toes, see? Huh? Acheron. That's a reference Oran. I'm not getting. Might be from the novels? Okay, there's a lot of movement behind there. And we can't open the doors, it seems. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, he managed to sneak up on me almost. Hello? And as is usual. Now, if you're wasting time recording audio diaries, I don't. Th <laughs> instead of well, look, looking out for hostiles, you're the one that's not going to make it through, Rodriguez. <laughs> Is there anything down no, here? Uh, I think those are. Yeah, I think those are all do. I was gonna say, I think those audio diaries might be mandatory thing for them to have. Yeah, I, I have heard complaints that people are getting a, rather tired of them. And uh, let's see, which one is that? Yeah, I, I'm mixed opinion. It, it depends how it's done. Like, if it makes sense to be there, sure. But I can agree that many times where they feel out of place. Yeah, I I'll, I have something to say on that, but I'll we'll say that after this. Bugs everywhere. They're coming through from someplace top of the pump room. Must be a wee wee from outside there. Shit. Yeah, that that doesn't really help much. But um, one way to justify their presence being in games, I would. I'd say would be uh, to say that it's become a trend to make audio diaries like a sort of uh, self-therapy or something. Yeah, therapy or like a, an audio report for progress, like you're seeing in movies where they investigate something, then they take uh, verbal notes into a recorder yeah. for what they investigate at all. And those make sense. But you will catch the same games where you find something that is a bit weird to have recorded. Yeah, like that last one. Okay, this must be the control room. Line around out there. Okay, so typical stuff. Oh, there we go. Find a battery. Bring over our battery. And okay, apparently Ooh. these things are chunky. <laughs> if you need both hands to carry them. I didn't see it properly. For, for some reason, it was a beer. Good job, Good job. Beer. <laughs> How's the Come on in. Grab yourself a pulse rifle, kid. Here we go, I the classic that, thing. I think I heard people complain about it, it's her. It's Xeno Central on this rock, and these bugs don't just pop up unannounced. And I don't even want to think about the hostiles that popped in out of nowhere and took out the Marlin. Anyway, listen, I think I can control some of the colony's systems from here. Alright! Power back online! Repeat! This is Connor. My squad's in the club. We got power. Light and ventilation. Shit. We got no movement. Guess we woke up the 
Yeah, guess why? I can give you one man. He's a little clumsy, but he's a Xeno killer, all right? Proceed to the club. He only killed like two, three. Give him hell, Ricky. Uh, yeah. Really? The, the how fake. stupid are you? This... Oh, oh dear. dear. I, what I'm trying to say is, I think uh, one of the complaints about Tequila is she changed accent a lot. Okay. Because I think I just love the tutorials in my build too. Like, few times you hear her accent, more Mexican accent, is when she say Tequila. But other times you're just talking, she varies accent. Yeah, I, I think can't some say YouTubers too much on that. commented on. Yeah, I think some YouTubers commented on the thing that the, that it became very, in a way, confusing. So they made you unsure who was speaking at times. It went the wrong way. Raylands. This species demonstrated in humanity's ruthlessness is nothing. Mankind legislates and debates, allowing a rage of compassion to clip our wings. The Xenomorphs have no such weaknesses. Oh, of course. It's another freaking Xenophile who, who's for some reason in love with the uh, murder machines that are, well, going to murder him. So what is that of... Yeah. Ammo on. It reminds me, they finally reveal. For love of. You read? I, I was trying to see. <laughs> oh, for love of. But I was trying to say is thanks to Disney now only seeing more. IP and all that, they actually released comics finally revealing why they were made. Uh, Redcon in the case. latest movies or something? Yes. Uh, the... Fully answering. Uh, oh. That they were yeah. sort of made to uh, kill uh, any civilization that tried uh, to uh, become too military advanced. Okay. So Xenomorph was basically a bait for those. So wh whoever try to use them to become a military power we will basically be corrupted by them and they go extinct. And what does Will and Luciani keep doing over and over and over again? They try to you know, weaponize the Xenomorphs which end up eating everyone on the freaking planet. Yeah, this uh. was the intended purpose. The only one who does not do that is the predators. They just use them for hunting. Yeah, so the, the xenomorphs are the literal schmuck bait. <laughs> Anyone who... Yeah, kinda. And I've... And some people like it, some people don't. I am... Um, I don't know if that it should have remained mystery or not, personally, but it kinda makes sense, but also kinda not, since... It is a. It is a weird smock bait, if you think about it. Yeah, and it does contradict with the mo the Prometheus movie and their sequel to that, I think. But then again, I think most people would want to rather forget those movies to exist. <laughs> I, I did my Prometheus, but I have not seen the second one Prometheus movie yet. So I can't justifyly disagree or agree. And, uh, well, I guess it wasn't the, the Xenos who got these idiots. They worked fucking fast. Or were these here before? Yeah, and, and I'm surprised the hologram's still alive. <laughs> well, it doesn't give up any heat. It doesn't have any smell. It would only get turned off if the uh, electrical systems got damaged enough. True, do I? Uh, uh, there they are. Wow. 
Watch your shadows, rookie. The prime will be there soon. Almost there. Hold up. They're putting. That can't be. Oh dear. Well, we're fucked. Oh, yes. oh come on. <laughs> okay, where are they? Where are they? Oop. In the middle of this, come on. There's finally someone with some actual emotion in their voice acting. Uh, At least emotion in panic state. Yeah, I think that's probably also something with Tequila that's been complained about. That she sounds as flat as, well, Tequila that's been left out too long. So I guess it's... Okay, I that's a bit harsh. That sounded way too harsh. <laughs> oh, grenades and pulse ammo. Where are these fuckers? Oh, there. Oh, cool. Got to keep an eye on the ceiling as well, because that's where they like to hide. Yeah, I, I want to notice that it, this game is definitely can be tricky to cool commentate on. Yeah, because Tequila won't shut up. <laughs> yeah, There's and then we have this room mind. here that I think many people hate. I think I see why. Yeah, oh, oh, ah. I think I heard people say that they liked the disco scene <laughs> because the flashes make the flashes of light make it a lot harder to spot these jackasses. Who you are? Really fast on the wall. Yeah, I think uh, some people like them, but it was mainly that also dislike it. Like something, I think just like the hologram. The others had, I think I heard oh, some people, there. probably like me at the moment, get a bit nauseous from all the flashing. Yeah, that that is also a thing that can be. Uh, also, we just cannot run at all. This is our top speed, apparently. And oh, yeah, yeah, I think that was one of the major criticism against the game. Yeah, but we've hit the 25 minutes, so let's finish this up. Okay, I was about to ask, take you alive? They've been shredding all of these marines to pieces, but no, there must have been someone from before, from the, the local population. Well, yeah. yeah. But, since this is a very mixed bag about the voice acting, then again, I mean, not blame voice actors too much for sometimes they just have to obey whoever tells them what to say. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that, I forgot to set that game to. Uh, window mode, but Sindri did lose quite a bit of frames on that. Uh, overall, though, I'd call that game a bit mediocre from that first impression. So, unsure if we should stream it eventually. Yeah, same. Like, people were ho very angry about their start, but over the years, it's become a bit more neutral. Uh, maybe the other campaigns are better. But if we stream it, we'd likely well, stream all of it. And yeah, it just looks like the Marine campaign is not going to be as interesting as previous ones. Uh, to my knowledge, Aliens vs. Predator 2 
is still considered to be the best of the eight you know, of the games. All right. And well, this is the second game that we'll be giving a shot, though. I must admit, I've played this game quite a lot already. This is a medieval. This is base. Basically, this is one of those uh, old boomer shooters. And uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I've already been on this for the. Uh, let's see. Okay, I, I didn't know. I'm gonna say this. more. I'm gonna say it's more a love letter to Hexen and Heretic. Yeah, I, I've heard, I'd heard those names brought up. Uh, Basically, okay. fantasy doom. Basically, so made on the same second. engine, even. Nope. No, but... Okay, that did not do what I thought it was. It did so. Let's see, you're already in a game, are you sure? Yes. Yes, that's a game over. I guess I hear that. I have to this. Yeah. Uh, actually, have you finished the game? Uh, you might turn off again. Yes, your mic just turned off. Alien, your mic. This one too. Oh dear. There. Wait, I can hear you. This one too. Uh, it seemed for some. Yeah, my headset's crapped out again. For, no, not the Oculus thing. Why did this thing just randomly disconnect itself again? But I could hear a game, but I could not hear you. And you can hear can me now, right? Connect? Okay, what the other hell is this again now? I have to restart the computer last time. Okay, just turn this thing off. Unpair it. And then repair it. Pausing the timer for this, of course. Okay. Searching for device. Aero packs, aftershock. Try can Come the hell on. No idea if you can hear me at all at the moment. I can he hear me at now least. Now it won't pair. Uh, maybe it's about time that I chuck this thing out then if it's going to 
be difficult more and more often. Okay, add device, Bluetooth, connecting. There we go. Now we just turn this back on and That's one, two. Yes, three, four. I have audio again. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. So now, now you can finally hear me. But I can't hear. Is the game just not making any audio? It, I'm not seeing the audio bar. It made off. audio earlier. It, Why it not made now? audio earlier when you were muted. I, it wasn't muted. It, I thought my microphone was glitching out again, so I reconnected that, but now this is not... Okay. It stopped. What? It worked earlier. Yeah, I heard it during the intro, and then it just crapped out, so let's just restart it again. Uh, it, it just seems that this week is full of technical issues, doesn't it? Uh, it's about technical issues. Uh, your mouth is stuck open. <laughs> Okay, need to reset this as well then. That's a new one. Usually you stuck frowning, not stuck gapping. Give me a moment. Uh, re everything just seems to have out to annoy me today. Okay, VC phase we're starting up again. Sort of feel like this might be why it was relaxing to no longer have something Sunday. Yeah, it wasn't technical stuff like this as often. Okay. Is the game going... Still... Oh, I think I might what? know it... why. Sound settings... It... Yep, it, that's why. It changed... Ugh. Not cable inputs, voice meter inputs. It changed the audio sex, uh, settings because of the uh, headsets being a quote-unquote new thing. So, let's see. Sounds. Playback. Voice meter aux. Set as default communication. Set this uh, voice meter input as the default. Okay. Still no audio on this. It was audio earlier. Yeah, but uh, before, you go? before the headset crapped out, that's why. Okay. Okay, for, I can there hear the audio. And, okay, now let's hope it works. Everything just works. And not on that. Quest, main campaign, yes. Oh dear. We can't skip this, it seems. Oh, we can skip. Okay, that is good. Let's shut up and bring us into this again. Yep. And actually, just in case, test one, two. Three, four. All right. Now it's every work here. Now we ask you what I tried to ask you earlier before I popped you on Discord. Um, have you ever finished the game? No, I think... I'm pretty sure I got close. Let's see, evil right. has overrun our sacred lands, freedom. Yeah, basically, the story of... They... Go, go ahead. <laughs> I was saying... They are very much like Heretic and Hexen in that... Your main character is not human. Yeah, bas basically the story with this... Oh, oh that's return to the difficulty selection. Oh, this one. Uh, portal to Astral Equinox. Basically, the story of this game is... Uh, yeah, this... <laughs> we're... <laughs> everything has gone to hell. And we've been summoned to, well, unhell everything. Selenic Strongholds. Yeah. So like I said, this, I don't know what we are. I want to know we are not human, considering you only see your character's face when you finish the game. Yeah, good chance that they're just some sort of 
armor automaton or something. No, no, they're alive. Okay, hello, something's over here. Uh, oh, first web secret area, Whisper's Edge. Yeah, we have, <laughs> like many of those, these old, uh, those old shooters, there are different weapons and they all have their own, nope. They have uh, their own ammo types, or at least there are a few ammo types that are shared between some weapons. This, uh, this sword uses the green mana. And let's see, tap to see level stats. Okay, that I actually didn't know. There's just 57 enemies left to kill. And there's eight secrets left to find. Okay. Yes, again, love letter to Herotek and Hexen. Uh, oh, it's not whole, it's a press. These health orbs, and here we have another weapon. From these sacred waters, the Azure Orb was formed. And yeah, this uses the blue mana. Way forward, like left and right. Okay. And as with many of the old shooters, you did want you do not want to be standing still in firefights. Or in this case, spell fights. Yep. I do believe, I do believe there are some weaknesses that certain enemy types are vulnerable to certain mana types, but I'm not too sure about that. I cannot comment that, but I don't think I recall them mentioning that. But it would be nice if there was for, there was something the older games lacked, since, well, yeah, Hexen and those were extremely old. Still keep so getting hit. Least, if, yeah, but if, but, but if you were to make remake Hex and all that, or like a spiritual sex sexual or love letter to them, resistance as such would make sense. Oh, hello, where did you come from? Uh, around the corner. Yep. Okay. What did they say? Shavo. It's soul and fire, water and blood. Don't know what this is, but I think it would probably teleport us away or something, or it's a power up. So let's yep. actually look around a bit more first. Oh, hello. Yep. Be right back. It's gonna prove I'm gonna prove food into the machine, not machine into the food. <sighs> And he just misses this thing going full machine gun. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oops. Okay, that one has a spread shot with his staff. Not the best position, but at least he couldn't get in. Uh, we can't pick up the staff. But I do think we'll and get something similar to it later. Oop. And I heard something about the... I missed something? Uh, yeah, we just... Uh, I, I'm not sure if it was in Hexen either. But uh, we just... The, the thing we picked up was basically... Uh, yeah, super fire mode. I think they have that. I think they have a spell variant of each of each weapon in all Doom games. Okay, that was the right passage. Let's check out the left now. Hello. Uh, basically, this thing's fire rate went up to like 500% or so. Ooh, okay. Actually, there we go. Oh, they actually explode into water. 
Yeah, basically that's what... Uh, uh, the bar mm -hmm. under our health gets filled, and that's what that's what allows us to uh, activate that hyper mode. Ah, uh, yeah. I, instead of a going berserk, you just uh, have a... Uh, I don't know what they call it here. A supercharge? Uh, there uh, probably was a name that showed up, but I missed it to the times. But uh, yeah, these enemies are basically the realm's defenders that have well, been driven mad and controlled by the, the super evil that took everything over. Ooh. Oh. And we're full on blue mana. That's where we were before. Fire upon the red rune above. It's a damn obvious button. Yeah, we call it a button, not a rune. I do like that they fall apart like that. I'm not sure if to think of that. They're probably not human. Maybe some sort of goat. Ow, took the full face of I that. Saw, I thought I saw blood coming out of them. Hmm. Either they are a type of construct, or they are energy beings using armor? Maybe. And apparently it's called soul power. Uh, let's see. There we go, we got both keys, so we can continue on. Oop. We're not. These, these things track a bit, well, a fair bit. We'll still need to be careful with our aim because it, it isn't just auto hitting. And here's where we would normally have found this thing. Oop, more of you. I think the stone is supposed to be very good against those. Yeah, probably it can cut through things. There we go. Let's actually use it for a bit. Since we have more mana for... There we go. <laughs> Took its head off with that one. All right. Souls and hello. It took its head off again. <laughs> okay, we have enough charge for well to go super sane <laughs> with this thing. Ooh, hello. There we go. Oh, yeah. But let's save that for a bit more enemies than just one flyer. Oh, big boy. Platform to Bastion of the Blue Moon. Okay. Actually, the debris actually moves around as well. That's nice. Okay. Got all of the kills. We took way longer than, well, should have. Or, yeah, should have is an odd word. <laughs> Let's see. Killed all enemies, and we read all the messages. Okay. There we go. Next area. Health in case, well, we needed it, which we don't. Let's see. I should see if I could make something like that in uh, Minecraft with Create. I I'm, I've said it in multiple points, but I'm, that uh, mod is growing on me. 
I called it. I was just to say you're gonna make that in Minecraft, aren't you? And you, you confirm. But if you can say it. Nope. <laughs> Okay, enemies still hit like... <laughs> yeah, that, that is why you want to keep moving. Enemies hurt. And this is uneasy. Uh... Wait. Could be true. Enemy hurts? It's pay for an enemy hit you? No. You can't be serious. <laughs> Go. We seem to be pretty good at decapitating targets with this thing. The way they speak, I think there might be some sort of energy in armor. The way they, they speak. See anything here? They, they speak almost like what you expect elementals to do. Or a ghost. Okay, I heard enemies and I can hear them stomping around somewhere. Yeah, let's just move on. Oh, hello. Don't think there's an easy way to get to that from here. So, moving on. But there's also blood. But you do that. True. I walked into that one. There we go. I probably could have gone super mode on them there, but oh well. We still came out with a net positive in health. I suspect whoever, or most of them, were uh, smaller ones, might be extre extremely thin. Yep. Maybe they're insectoids? Hmm. Yeah, they would leave more than armor behind if that was the case. Button. Oh. The, the blood effects could be a, a uh, oversight. Says there might be other enemies using the same animation. I'm not too sure if it'd be an oversight. It might just be more of a sign of you—you know, you did hit them. Wait, take it. Oh, oh, that's what had their attacks actually cancel out mine. Ooh. Oh, and I didn't mean to activate that, but okay. Uh, yeah, this just makes them really big and bounces them around. Lee. And there's no way to cancel it prematurely, so that's a lot of soul energy lost. Let's wait for it to cool down. So we don't waste the ones that we, well, <laughs> made by slaughtering these guys. Uh, let's see, I gotta check on my food. So... Yeah, you know the usual. Don't die. Yep. <laughs> uh, this way. Oh, you are big. Or, oh, you're one of those bomb throwers. Of course, I run into one of his bombs. Oh, more of you. Just split in half. Okay, here we go. I can hear them, and they, uh, there I see them. Yep. Yep. 
Go back down to hold. <laughs> I thought it killed them. <laughs> then they just run into them and get stuck. Okay, the big guys actually change up their patterns of in which they attack. There you go. Okay, staircase. Uh, that must be a sh yeah, shortcut in case we fall back down. And back. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh. Let's stick with the sword since that Thank deals you. a lot more damage, and it you're seems. Still alive. Or actually, we need to go downstairs, I'm guessing, then, since this is a dead end. Uh, I, think, I think someone said the sword is the shotgun, but I'm sure. Yeah, maybe I'd say it counts more as a sort of rifle since it, it yeah, the slashes do travel quite a bit after, but it does work really well up close. Yeah, but yeah, do they have a rather broad when you launch them away? So it's not like a just a small bullet, just it's True. a wide arc. Yeah, it's it it's shots might be broad, say it's but. Like uh, a it's not a broadsword. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is the closest to one that we have at the moment. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I forgot if the reviewer said what. Oh dear. Uh, no, we can't make it to that place. Where are we supposed to go then? Hmm. M oh messages. MSGs. Okay. Uh yeah, where the hell are we supposed to go now? We cleared out the under, we cleared out the over. You cleared out the under and the over I clean the yonder. Now yeah, we can wander over there to check. Okay. Oh. There we go. Wonder over yonder. Yeah, th these big guys, they they change up the pattern in which they throw the fireballs. And I see you up there, you little shits. And again, we we could have used the superpower there, but we didn't need it at all. Oh. The heck did he sneak up from? Ah, button. Balcony. Oh, hello. Oh. I thought it was supposed to be a portal, not... <laughs> That's what I thought as well. Okay, the green man is clearly that, stronger. That was just a ram? Yep. Oh dear. Yep, I walked into one of their bombs. Probably could have ducked under that blast, but oh well. It, uh, the blue mana seems to be limited to 250 max, whilst the green mana is limited to 100. So, I guess the green mana is the green mana weapons are probably going to be stronger. Okay. Hello. You and moving on. Here we go. Passageway to the Falls of Midnight. Okay. Oh, that, hello. Oh, that was the. 
And we didn't find any secrets at all. Okay. Oh, thing. Uh, yeah, we can't go back, so oh well. Oh, no, Hillian. Yeah, what do you think of this game so far? Well, I've seen reviews on a little bit of people playing it, and I like it. It is overall a good game, from what I'd, I've seen people say, and from my personal experience. Wait. Oh, oh come on. Like the flames actually hurt. Help me want to say we should stream this, but... My only concern is if there's enough story. And there isn't too much. The most... The most oh, there's the trident. The most quote-unquote story there is in this game is what you find on the walls. Beyond that, it's mostly combat. So it's not much of a story game. It's a com uh, It's a, a gameplay game. It yeah. wide. Like, we get explained early... We get explained early on why... What we're doing and why we're doing there. And yeah, that's it, really. And yeah, this is basically an assault rifle. And that's the timer. So let's finish up this. Okay. Hey, I have a feeling someone watched Misty Knights when they get ready for this weapon. But the Blue Knight is using a trident to shoot lightning. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Another refill of the staff here. Let's see. Uh, let's at least show off the, the super effect of this weapon still. Oh. Uh, yeah, it turns uh -oh. to chain lightning like this, and if you overkill an enemy with this thing, it's part. It, it chain lightnings to everything nearby. Oh, this thing just absolutely Holy. eats ammo. Midnight moonlight sun be gone. But yeah, let's let's leave this game as a maybe. Like, it is a good game, but it's not a, really a story game. Now, for this third game, I'm going to need to turn on the disk drive. Because, yeah, with this game, I know for certain we are not going to stream it full time. But it is a funny thing that I do want to show off. Now, okay. it's going to auto start. Let's see. OBS should... Nope. The hell, not that. Wait, what the... Did I put in the wrong disc? Oh, yeah, that's the wrong disc. Okay, give me a second. Where did I leave that thing? Over there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This is a game by a local company that I'm quite a fan of. They stopped making games quite a while ago, though. Uh, but yeah, I think we might... Probably not this game, but maybe some other games of theirs that we might stream a, at some point. Though mostly for the fun of it, not really story. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, this game <laughs> is Amsterdam. <laughs> Basically, this is what you get <laughs> if a bunch of Dutch guys made Doom. <laughs> I can actually read this. Welcome to Amsterdam. Yeah. Select your name and click OK to continue play on. And yeah, let's see. Start. They might be a bit loud. Uh, controls and such. It, uh, it don't show the screen anymore. And here, let's go. This might be broken, but that, that's half the fun of just showing this stuff off. It, we are not streaming this game for story because it 
it doesn't fully work on modern systems, but it's still funny in what it does leave. And apparently the digital disguise is just chugging along for some reason. Also, there's an E missing there. It should it should read even geduld. It just reads fan geduld. Come on, it okay. shouldn't take this long. We're, Weird. Did it break already? <laughs> and this is why I keep a fifth game as a backup in case something breaks. It should work. I did play Wait, this. Do you have a backup before? This time? Yeah, we have a backup. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it seems to not want to be loading. And now it. This creator is on. Or it should be on. It's not responding. Uh, let me get out of this. Yeah, it's not responding. And task. Let's give that another try then. And this time we'll get the full intro of this because this game was made by Gavilex. Also, the three axes on the flag for Amsterdam are not, they, they do not stand for triple X, X, and such. It actually stands for something else, but I forget what. That's Amsterdam. Big explosions. NATO's rapid NATO's reaction rapid force reaction landed, just, landed a just a moment ago and are setting up a defensive perimeter around the city of Amsterdam. In the meantime, Dutch officials, officials have told us that the evacuation has almost, been, almost been, completed. been completed. We interrupt this we interrupt program this to bring you more breaking news, news live, from live from the troubled Dutch, Dutch capital. capital. Apparently, the, Apparently aliens the aliens have responded to the NATO's troop build up with some kind of defensive force field. Allied force insiders report, and I quote, the city's impenetrable. No one can go in or out. UN officials told us that all rubbers and the aliens are now called, setting up some kind of chemical inside. <laughs> that didn't look traveling at all. Also, I'll just skip this bit because it just goes on and on and on. With well, right, gentlemen, gentlemen, let's gentlemen, let's this. Get to work. <laughs> Thank you, Secretary, Thank you, Secretary General. General. Okay, let's okay, look at the let's current, look at the current situation. situation. The red Basically, the story from there on is we are uh, we are a commando sent in through a a small gap that they managed to punch into that shield, but it <laughs> it could only be done once because it took two thirds of all the power in Europe. So let's see if we will start if it'll work now. If not, we'll just move on to the next game. Well, that's a sound that's not good, of course. Third? What? Uh, two third. <laughs> and two it looks like the game is refusing to bad. play now. Uh, okay, now it went back to this. Come on. I know you worked earlier. I played you. Okay, we're back to this. Hmm. Uh, I think I think it's not it's refusing to start up now. It's it started up earlier and it's competent. Uh, but yeah, basically the, the whole stick of this game is it's a three D shooter, a pretty easy one, uh, where you just run through a bunch of Dutch uh, landmarks like uh, the Wax Museum and yeah, and other places. I didn't actually go too far into it because I wanted to be surprised of which stuff we could find on the stream here, but apparently that's just not going to happen. So, too bad, too sad. Oh well, at least we tried. And I can turn... Oh dear. 
this back off. Because it refused to capture as a game. Wait, what does Adam win? Hmm. Okay, whatever that is. Okay, that was just running with some with nothing to do with you know, with nothing to say for it. Uh, where did the chat? There's the chat program. It got shuffled around because, of course, an old game like that would only work at a teeny tiny resolution. But oh well. On to the fourth game. It should capture any second now. It captured before. There we go. A, yeah, the angry video game nerd video game. <laughs> okay, originally, originally in this place there was going to be a game called Anachronox, but it didn't want to work on my computer for some reason. So, yeah, we moved on to the next one, which was, well, this game. And oh, it, no. Let me actually restart it, because it... It wasn't responding to my controller. It's, it's one of those... It's really annoying with some of these games that they just do not react to... Um, <clears throat> to controllers that have been activated after they've been started out. That's really annoying with some games, I'd say. And let's see. Six beers, limited try, strong weapons, easy enemies. Three beers, 30 <laughs> lives, normal weapons and enemies. Old school, three beers, 15 lives, five continues, normal weapons and enemies, checkpoints are invisible, no saving. It's Young Ruby the Goat Man and his friends were playing a shitty game together when suddenly his friends were zapped into the TV. The nerd escaped into the basement, but an arm came out of the TV, grabbed him by the balls and pulled him inside. Game land, 3 a.m. What the fuck am I in a shitty game? Hey, listen, I'm Nagy, the patronizing firefly, and I'm... Oh, fuck, no, go away. A button to jump, hold it down to jump higher. And of course, jump button to jump, you're a fucking genius. Now leave me alone. Can I kill this thing? Nope. And of course, he's using a Nintendo Zapper for this. At least an orange yeah, one. I wonder how many owned ones for. I mean, we own, we own uh, at least two. Uh, is that a toaster with a game cartridge in it? Yep. yep. And that's our first hit. Beer restores your health and makes everything better. <laughs> Damn straight. Uh, someone yeah, we... actually made a toaster. That, that plays video, video games, games, I think, yeah. X to fire the blaster. As the nerd, you can fire in any direction, hold one of the triggers to stand still and aim. There we go. Okay. Diagonal shots, upward shots. Uh. What's that? These are power up items. Press Y to use them. Okay, but what do they do? Blocks and the classic. Wait, by the way, do I sound okay? Yeah, you sound okay to me. Uh, is your is your audio bar not moving? All right, or I see my. Okay, it is. Yeah, it's moving up and down again a lot. So I'm double checking. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll I'll double check if the audio is correct on that after this stream. With all the screwery that OBS has been going through, I wouldn't be surprised if that. Okay, that's not supposed to show up. Okay, just do not disturb. Yeah, that, that's a friend of a friend. That's actually one of Noon's friend. Oh. Hey, listen, what's out for? Shut up, I don't need you. Oh, uh, of course, that's an instant death thing. <laughs> that was that was just schmuck bait. We were talking about schmuck bait earlier with the aliens. Okay. And 
Hang this power up looks interesting. You should press Y now. Uh, this. Oh, that's, that's it's the glitch goblin. I haven't seen, I haven't seen much of uh, the vi angry video game nerds in, uh, in recent times. Okay. Shut up, shut the fuck. Okay, activate this thing again. And okay, it, I thought it, I thought it would kill everything on screen, but apparently not. I'm guessing what this does. So now power. Up. Yeah, to tell, use the wire to get through. It's the Ultra Mecha Jesus. What the heck? Okay, checkpoint. Yep. Okay, one death and it took three minutes. That's you know, three minutes for one. And let's see. Almost it. four minutes. Assolvania. Happy Fun Candy Time, Future Fuck Balls 2010, Blizzard of Balls, Thy Farts Consumed, Dungeons and Dick Holes, uh, Beat It and Eat It, and Boo Haunted House. And I can't move to that question mark. <laughs> but yeah, but... Yeah. Oh dear. And that's a reference to Castlevania 2, I'm pretty sure. Oh dear. Uh, I think mean, I've been watching them uh, occasionally. So... Most people haven't liked him as much, except when he do as actually does game videos, but it seems like... You know, like, for why he didn't do script himself anymore, he just... What every team has now, he script for him, and people did not like that. No, they didn't like that team would write the scripts, try to become part of the show. Since yeah. many of them have a really bad reputation. Yeah, I'd heard about that, that and... <laughs> and of course, the, on the desk screen he does one of those lines, it's just an absolute combination of horrible things that he'd rather do than play these games. <laughs> uh. But, uh, what were you to say, by the way, that you have heard? Uh, well, I had heard about that thing with the, well, him, him taking less, uh, being less active in the work with it because he has a family now, which, well, is a good reason to. Uh, yep. Do we maybe? Uh, uh, sorry, go on. Uh, nothing else was. I wasn't going to say much else there. Yeah, it's good for him to take more time with his family. But it does sound like almost he would need another team, for they also tried to make him expand into other areas, which did not go well, like his podcast and all that. Yeah. I know that they do some movie reviews now as well. Uh, they've been doing that for a while as a side project. Yeah. And I think the team that uh, he was with was not the original team anymore. And the new one just, just tried to take over it and it did not go well. We tried to rebrand it even all that. Just... I, I, I think it's only recently they he tried to take back some control. I don't think they... I'm, I don't... Oh, come on. The action button is fuck it. Uh, yeah, this, this, is, this is clearly a game I'm not going to have much progress in because I'm just not good in these old, older style uh, platformers like Mega Man and such. And yeah, that's what it says yeah. on the start. But yeah. At least we showed it off, and that is half the, th uh, the reason why we do these uh, show the showcase streams. And yeah, we are actually uh, uh, we started a bit late, uh, but yeah, we st we still have time for this uh, game.
Now, this is one of the more recent games that I bought, and mostly because it looked interesting to me. So I'm going into what? this completely, uh, well, without knowing anything about it, or much about it. Let's see. 1934. Anomaly temperatures. Okay, so a new ice age. Or not. Pretty sure this is what was one of the trailers. You see that? You see that? Looks like some Looks high like some military, military, military ship. Military ship. Today might Today be my lucky, lucky day. day. That's obviously not bait. Get out of the Get out of the fools. fools. We got two we civilians got two in, the hot, in the hot zone. Assault hound. Assault hound. Take, it Take it down. Take it down. This is not, not good. So much for that. <laughs> um. Morph, morph. Impressive artwork, at the very least. <laughs> We're just thinking, what the hell did we walk into? <laughs> and yeah, this game is, as obviously reads out, Anomaly 2. I don't know anything about the original Anomaly, but this did pop up some... I don't know exactly when it where it popped up i think it was on gog that it's mm -hmm. yeah, it showed up in my recommended or something like that yeah, let's see let's start the timer uh, and i'm just game surprised time. alienware made their own games i left it double i would alien you only made it only made pcs and yeah, it could be that hmm. To my knowledge, they are only in that. Maybe they just helped fund this or sponsor it or something. We'll, we'll just have to look into that after this. For now, uh, starting the timer and let's see. Prelude, rock bottom. The machines returned with one purpose, to annihilate the human race. Our last hope for survival was a weapon called Project Shockwave. A desperate attempt to reclaim it turned out to be the 14th platoon's last mission. It was the year 2028. And let's do this on casual, since we're just testing this out. Victory, Victory. was just was an just illusion. illusion. They hit us again in 2021, multiplying, multiplying like metal like cockroaches. cockroaches. They covered the, they planet. Covered the planet. We didn't stand, we didn't a, chance. stand a chance. The last the hope last for humanity's humanity survival, survival was a weapon was developed, a weapon by, developed by Earth's greatest scientist. scientist. Project Shockwave. Project Shockwave. Seeing as there are still machines, I'm guessing something ran the time wrong. Wasn't completed. Was completed. It was too it late. Was too late. Humanity, Humanity fell. Humanity fell. And fell hard. Fell hard. Get 
Here's a boy. Come, come in. Come in. This is General Roberts. This is General Roberts. What's, your What's your status? Boys here. Boys here. Half a click. Half a click. 14th platoon. 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 Transporter, Transporter. smashed. Pilot. Pilot. Dead. Dead. Get away from that wreck. Get away from that wreck. It can blow any second. Jinx. 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 J
you. Pretty good, uh, pretty good way of showing, not telling with this, I'd say. Put that down Thank there. Early the holy fire. Nope, there's something down there. With a lot of health. Yeah, sometimes not fighting is the better part of combat, or the smarter part. Ooh, big boy stirring. Yeah, it's good to know when you can fight and when you cannot fight. Can we zoom? No, we can't zoom in or out. So far, it's easy enough. You just need to keep the first one healed up. And they are dropping plenty of these things. Hey, it's just the first mission. True. And, well, we did put it on the easiest <laughs> set as well. Okay, but what's going to go wrong with this Project Shockwave, then? Because this is a this is a flashback to 13 years before, about. Graphics are really impressive, though. We made it. We made it. This must be the research station. Oh yeah. What is this? The tin can jamboree. General, general, we got a lot of structures here. All alien origin. Okay, so. Okay, so that answers that. They're aliens. Yeah, I, I was about to go... I was about to ask... Yeah, I was going to ask earlier, are these man-made or are they alien? They're alien. Okay. Yeah, then I guess and I understand what they're doing. Also, I, I praise the graphics, but that flag is janky. Screwed. Without the repairability, or not? Oh, oh. Yeah, there they go. Oh. Uh oh. Well. <laughs> There goes uh, the commander. Hmm. At least that was successful. Nice core. 
ruthlessness and efficiency, but nothing on swiftness. But <laughs> everything was on a set pace, so we couldn't do anything there anyways. Okay. VR mission. I guess we virtual. don't know. Uh, I, would say, I think I don't know what's happened to the planet. The damn things are suckily dry from all heat. Yeah, it could be that they are covering the planet in uh, clouds or something, or in other ways blocking out the sunlight, because that is the primary uh, source of heat on the planet, the sunlight, I think. Don't forget uh, thermal energy. Could be as well, but they're just draining the planet. The ground. Let's see, virtual reality. It's, it is now 2034, convoy Yukon is on the move. Civilians search the frozen wasteland for supplies. Soldiers continue their training. For you, Lieutenant Lynx, there is a new weapon to master, the combat suit. Okay, let's try this on normal this time. We're survivors, We're survivors of war. Of war. Banded together in huge convoys. convoys. We search the frozen <coughs> tundra for food and supplies. supplies. My convoy My is convoy called Yukon. Called Yukon. I started training I started with a simulator, simulator to get the hang of the, the, combat, the combat suit. suit. The greatest the military toy since gunpowder. First lieutenant. First lieutenant. First lieutenant. First lieutenant. First lieutenant. Okay. First lieutenant. Okay. signing off. This is Colonel this is Ellen Bolt, commander of convoy Yukon. Convoy Yukon. Convoy Yukon. I'll be the one who's training you. I need you to be in full command of the special mission unit. mission unit. Your voice is familiar. Let's get started, Let's get Link. started Link. This is your tactical map. map. On it and only on it, on it. you can, on choose, it. You can your choose your squad's path. Squad's path. Oh. Okay, we can choose them. You start here. You start here. Three, three training towers. towers. You can change you can your squad's change your route on each, route cross each crossroad. To do that, to just do click that, on just an arrow until it turns the way you need. Now, plan a route that leads you to the safe zone. Okay. There are two ways are to plan a route to plan your squad, your squad in tactical view. Tactical view. Left click arrows left -click on the crossroads, crossroads to change the path, change of, the the path of the squad. Left click and empty crossroad to set a path to, a path to it. Uh, let's see. Let's. Which of these has the least? Good. Good. The simulation, the simulation starts, now. starts now. Now I'm just eyeballing it, but that did look like it was the fewer. <laughs> Towers along the way. Okay, so assault hounds, not hell hounds. Assault hounds. Am I missing up already? But as they fire, they start to shoot faster, like a Gatling gun. It isn't preserved, it, it, it is preserved. As long as they stay in combat, it stays preserved. Okay. Okay. I forget this on being. I'm just, not, I'm just not using them too soon, because we are probably going to get less drops. And once it's out of combat, it starts dropping. <laughs> the assault house has considerable firepower and good range. Its rate of fire increases when firing and reaches maximum power after 12 seconds. Its cannons cool down quickly, though, so you should constantly keep enemies in its path. The unit's rate of fire should be considered high. Okay. Now I'm just going to give more detailed explanations on this. Now that we are, well, sidestepping the story a bit. Keep okay. alert. Keep the alert. The situation, the situation changed. changed. Yeah. Now, now the they're on both sides. Between buildings on both sides of the road. I strongly suggest you morph your squad into hellhounds. Okay, it was assault hounds and hellhounds. Okay, double click. Yep. These are higher in armor. In the cinematic, they look less like flamethrowers and more like laser cannons. 
Why we not a variant? Designed for urban warfare, warfare, the Hellhound is heavily armored and equipped with two independent flamethrowers with a high rate of fire. Rate of fire. The flamethrowers can set towers on fire and give additional damage as they burn. Flamethrowers get more effective over time and warm up quickly. Okay, but they are very limited in range. Okay, so if there are a bunch of them... Oh. In close quarters, we use flamethrowers and... Okay, something is going wrong outside. Ignore that train We're catching some heat out here in the real world. But we got it covered. But we got it covered. Focus on your Focus training. On your training. Yeah, if you're sure. You're coming up you're to coming a fork in the road. Fork in the road. Which, route the, Which route the squad takes is all up to you. Up to you. Uh, up the tactical field. You can change you your, can squad, change your squad now. Path now. Uh, we're not going to do that though, or let's see. These are hidden among, or some of them are hidden amongst the uh, <clears throat> amongst the buildings. So the hellhounds will be useful here. Here the assault hounds will be. Then again the hellhounds. Okay, this path would be better with the. Yeah, let's yeah, let's actually swap paths and have them switch back to assault hounds. They should get it again. And I'm guessing we'll probably also unlock Speed things up. Oh, oh crap, we're out of. And I forgot to change the yeah okay yeah I I I missed that we are were out of you know, repair stuff there and well I forgot to change this back so yeah we might actually lose this <laughs> at this rate uh, unless one of these starts dropping repair stuff thank you repair you quickly. Okay, they continue to burn for a while, but they don't burn until they die. They they burn for a set duration. Okay. Grab that. And one last heal just because. Yeah, that, that I I guess that shows how easy it all can get to Good screw job, up in this job. as well. Okay. Oh, lady. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got the reads. Currency exchange. Carus... What? Carusarum? It's a rare element not of this world. We use it to buy new units or upgrade existing ones. Learn how to collect it and how to use it. Okay. Again, a normal. We received a we received distress signal, signal coming from, signal New, York. from New, York. New York. The signal was sent signal by, was Dr. Dr. by Dr. Zander. The scientist in possession, possession of Project Shockwave. Shockwave. Yukon's on a direct route, route to Big, route Big Apple, Apple, and I'm still in the simulator. The simulator. There's no saying There's how no much time is left, left for training. First Lieutenant, First Lieutenant Simon, Lynx. Simon Lynx. 3,827 miles of north of the anomaly. anomaly. The anomaly. Okay. What is this anomaly then? This is Karasar. It's, it's a rare element that we use to buy and upgrade combat, combat units. Combat units. Karusara is, is our main resource for producing and upgrading and upgrading units. units. You can discover you can it on the ground or receive it when you destroy an enemy tower. Enemy tower. We also we master also the master ability to recycle it from our own, from our own units. And you collect it by shooting it. It's in okay. It's your best interest to pick up as much Karusara as, as you can. To do that, to do you that. need to set you up your squad, squad first. first. Hmm? Purchase two Purchase assault, two assault, assault hound units. units. Okay. So squads, 
Bye. Okay. Hellhound. We have a limited amount of units that we can take. Okay. Bear in mind, Bear in you can mind, always you gain, gain Karasara by, selling, by units. selling units. Okay, let's go this way. And there we go. Okay. And we start out without any repairs at all. So we better hope that they start dropping those quickly. One more thing, Lieutenant. Here's how you change formations. Formations? formations? What? Okay. And, oh, okay. We can drag them around. Take a few shots ourselves. And they aren't going to get a kill off on those. Okay. Morph quickly. Yeah, that. When we have a more, when we have a much more limited window to attack, we should use the Hellhound to maximize out, you know, maximize the amount of damage that we, they can pull out. Oh. It's going wrong again. We just got through a firefight. Fire 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 Enemy was neutralized, but the simulator got simulator banged, up. banged up. It's still online. It's still online. So let's, keep so going. let's keep going. I do like that. Typically in games when you're in a virtual reality mission... You can use power mm -hmm. to improve your unit's armor, firepower, and more. And more. Try, it now. Try it now. Okay. Uh, not there. I, like I was going to say, I do like that uh, they they actually keep, usually in VR missions like this, you 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 get through completely undisturbed the whole way. But yeah, th this world is rather crap sack, so they don't have time to put you through it in a safe place. Let's see. Oh dear. Not sure exactly. Okay, it, it shows what it upgrades. Their armor and attack. Okay, keep... And it shows the... the okay, they don't get experience. It's the upgrades that show as the uh, promotion tags. Now head for the now exit, head for links. The exit links. Okay. And yeah, it notably has a bigger bar now. Or a more... A bar mit, with more blocks in it, at least. Okay, that one's going to die from the fire, same as that. Um, and we, lo we lost the first one, because we didn't get any repair drops. Repair you quickly. I, I hope the drop, I hope the drop chance isn't too random. Otherwise, a lot of this you know, game could end up being just luck based if you get uh, healing stuff or not now you know how to secure necessary resources yeah. time is running out it would be easy or easy yeah then again they could be making these a bit difficult just to make ensure that there's probably going to be times where you just cannot save everyone and yeah that was the timer going off so uh, we still have about 10 minutes. Do you want to continue with this or shall we leave it? Uh, let's say leave it. Okay. It's an interesting game, but... I'm kind of unsure about streaming it. Uh, we, we can give like, it another sure. shot sometime, perhaps. Yeah, for, yeah, story, but the gameplay... I don't know that it, 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 the gameplay itself is interesting for streaming. Hmm. We'll have to see on so that. I, 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 I definitely want to try it more. Yeah, but I'm 50-50 I'm about it. Okay. Um, yeah, then we have... 
that, yeah, that means we've had a bit of a, an average batch this time. Aliens vs. Predator, the, the Marine campaign at least, seems to be not too interesting. So I'm not really interested in streaming that. I mean, it's evil. It's a, it's a good game for what it is, but it's not really our type of game. We're not much of a story going on. <clears throat> or at least not much of an active story going on. Uh, Amsterdam Doom sadly didn't work. <laughs> Wasn't going to be streaming that anyways. Uh, Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures. Uh, yeah, that's a nope. Uh, probably mostly because I'm just not good with old school uh, platformers like that. I almost said old school shooters, but no. That's a medieval. And uh, yeah, Anomaly 2. I, I think I'll try it a bit myself more. And then I'll judge whether I, uh, we should stream it sometime fully for its story or not. Yeah, for again, the story sounds interesting. Just the gameplay, um, it, the gameplay is what I'm worried about. That it might appear a bit boring. Maybe this was mostly just a, a tutorial stuff, so it would likely get more interesting later on with more types of units, I'm guessing. But I'll find that out when I play it myself. For now, uh, let's see if there is anyone to raid at, on at the moment. So, mute Twitch. And let's see, nobody I know is on at the moment. So, let's see, are there some other people? Let's see, oh, there's some. There's someone streaming Sticks, uh, one of the Sticks games. Hmm. Uh, they're called Iggy Maid. Okay. There is someone streaming Spelunky 2, called That Conrad Zimmer. Or Zimmerman, I think we've seen them before on the this. Then there's someone streaming League of Legends, cover the Hestia, and oh, someone streaming Persona for Golden, Torpid Typist. Yeah, who of those sounds or who of those sounds the most interesting, or which of the games should we go looking for? <laughs> Oh, blah, that's a top we have question. Like, Sticks, yes. Spelunky, uh, games? Persona. Hmm? Uh, uh, I guess Sticks sounds... Uh, ain't it? I, I thought they the ones that made Persona dislike people streaming the games. I'm not sure of that. Uh, that's not something I've heard of, at or, least. Uh, it's it's kind of infamous. Like you're you only sure allowed to stream up to a certain chapter. Okay, that might that just makes sense because spoilers. Uh, but it, when yeah, I'm thinking but... of someone who would be outright hostile to streaming and such, I think more of Nintendo, who just do not like it when they're who apparently don't like it when their yeah games are made into let's plays and such. Or something like that. Yeah, they, they, that's old Nintendo. They all for it now. Luckily enough, they have basically learned the lesson. But Persona games, like the only only games they allow you to do let's play through is the older ones. But any new ones, they want you to. They seem to be rather strict about. Okay, makes sense since the entire thing with those games is the story and your experience from it. Um, uh, yeah, hmm. yeah, so it's still, it's not like it's an early access viewing, it's just when released, you own allowed to stream this much after its release. You expect them to have that rule like before the release. Hmm. I'm a bit 50 uh, 50 on that for the moment. Oh. Uh... Okay, yeah. uh, uh, apparently Atreus has been in the chat the whole time, but the stupid chat program never caught any of them. Or didn't show up on the Ooh, hello, stream Atreus. as well, what the hell? I'll need to look into that. So, sorry for that, uh, Atreus. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, the heck might have been on with that. Uh, let's go back here. The chat should be on. It, yeah, chat is... It should it be one of the one. top things. The hell? I'll I'll look into that. Sorry about it, Atreus. And uh, yeah, 
Well, anyways then, uh, back to this, before the raid goes off. Uh, thank you. Yeah, of the games, yeah. I'll, I'll check out Anomaly 2 more. Maybe we can stream it some other time. But for now, uh, thank you anyone has been watching now or later. Thank you as always, Drakir. And thank you, Atreus, as well, even if we completely seem to ignore you. <laughs> and we may stream again later tonight. Welcome, as usual, my friend. And, yeah, hopefully. Uh, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks.